everybody and welcome to Great Day Houston. Okay, so Eddie Van Halen started music lessons at the age of five and Adele got serious about singing at 14. Rolling in the deep. Well, there are inspirations for every musician and having the right teacher can make all the difference in the world. The kids from the School of Rock are here with us today. Please welcome the instructor, Jordan Heimberger and his School of Rock All-Stars. Good Hi. morning. Hi, how are you? This is such an amazing program. So for those who are not familiar with it, take us back to how it got started. Sure, School of Rock started in 1998 in the Philadelphia and New York area with the idea of taking kids, putting them in bands, and using that as an inspiration for the students to practice and learn music. Yeah, because back in the day, you'd all be in a garage somewhere practicing, right? But That's this right. way you can practice and get experts, uh, people in music, to help guide them and teach them things. What types of things do they learn? Uh, we teach guitar, bass, drums, keyboards, and voice. Um, and these students take one-on-one -on -one lessons, so they're able to learn music theory and use the songs that we teach, classic rock songs often, as a springboard to broader concepts in music. Yeah, you have, a, obviously, a background in music. You started playing at what age? I started playing piano as a young child and then uh, asked for and finally got a guitar around <laughs> the age of 12 or 13, yeah. and, and the rest was history. Yeah, because yeah. the guitar was a little sexier in school, wasn't it? Loved it. Yeah, you know, right? That, that hit me right on the target yeah, at but that age. At five yeah. years old, so uh, sometimes at that age, we kind of get, you know, our parents drag us into something because they mm -hmm. want us to learn something. Uh, did yeah. you take to it like a fish to water or was it like, do I have to do piano lessons again? I probably depended on the week. Uh, yeah. I come from a musical <laughs> family, so I always enjoyed music and sang around the house. Yeah. Um, yeah, but guitar was the thing that really grabbed me when I picked it up. All right, we yeah. have Carly over here. Hello, Carly. Hello. Okay, we heard you sing earlier. Girl, you got a voice on you. Oh my gosh, thank you. Yeah. When did you first start singing? Uh, I've, well, I've always been uh, well wanting to do music when I was little, like three years old. I was singing in baby pageants, but I started getting real lessons when I was eight years old at the School of Rock and with other people. Yeah, well, speaking with other people, uh, you all have not been together very long, have you? No, no, we all just met uh, yesterday. Yesterday? <laughs> well, okay, this is a special group uh, is, in yes. School of Rock. Mm -hmm. this, these are the School of Rock All-Stars, so these kids come from around the country and internationally. Um, they auditioned to be a part of this program, and these are some of our like highest achieving, most dedicated ambassador students. Yeah, and so yeah. you're getting a chance to actually perform in front of big crowds like you want to do one day, right? That's right, yeah, and we're going on tour. There are seven teams of All-Stars. Um, that are on tour currently or about to go on tour during this month. Uh, so we're going to get in a tour bus and hit a few cities and play some amazing shows. Yeah. It's a lot of have fun. Have you been in front of big crowds yet? Uh, well, yes, I have actually. Uh -huh. it's, it's really, really cool. It's an awesome experience to see and just have people feel what you feel on stage and all see them all having fun and it's just amazing. Yeah. Thing. Why is music so important, especially in the young person's life? Well, music that's is important to a young person because it gives them inspiration to to be a better version of themselves, especially if they come from a, a place where they're not able to hold, like be themselves. Yeah. You know, it gives them that opportunity to explode and be whoever who they want to and be. And express yourself, right? Yes. Okay. So these are franchises, but how would that's somebody right. get their child interested in School of Rock or, or enrolled in School of Rock at some future time? Sure. So there are uh, a number of locations in the Houston area and across the United States and internationally. Um, you can just go to schoolofrock.com or you can find the nearest location. Uh, our schools offer a free lesson where a student can come by and check it out and see if it's for them. Yeah. Uh, and kids who uh, you know come to School of Rock learn a lot quickly and uh, often find you know the the friends that they'll have for the rest of their lives. Too. All right, okay, I'm gonna talk to yeah. them in a second. Right, look, I want all of y'all look at me. Look at me in the eye right here. Okay, I'm gonna tell you the same thing I told Beyonce and on Leanne Rhymes. 
when y'all get all big and famous, don't forget us, okay? <laughs> no, no, they know, because I will come snatch you off the stage. Okay, well, the School of Rock All-Stars are performing tomorrow at 5.30 p.m. at White Oak Music Hall. Tickets are $10, and for more information, log on to greatdayhouston.com. Now the School of Rock All-Stars will take us through the break.